Ooh, everybody, and welcome to uh, um, uh, whatever the game is called. Help me, Frosty Kiss. Welcome to Frosty Kiss, based on it. Journey Rogue, Everlasting Summer. I've played Everlasting Summer a long, long, long last time. It was like one of my first games in the library in this free to play game. So, if you would say my first game was Skyrim, followed by Dota, probably, probably number four, then maybe Blacklight Retribution, and then Everlasting Summer. Like, I didn't have many games in the library. And 3 out of 4 were free because I didn't spend money on games on Steam in the back in the day. The bang and the bang and the bang and the bang. Now I, you know what I'm getting at. No, but seriously, yeah. And yeah, I saw this game, I saw the inspiration, obviously, so I kind of was like, this is Lisa. And uh, immediately was it taken back, and it's supposed to be like a short version. Not as long as the other one because that was. Cheese. Cheese Louis, that was a long game. Technically, maybe, I don't know, it has been so long, but it definitely took a while to get somewhere, but I didn't mind that. It was a nice, really nice story with a very sad ending, but if you only go one way, if you go all the way, then you have, like, there's a lot of characters, okay, it's by a Russian game developer, and what else can I tell you about this It's a original novel, and I'm, it plays at Christmas time with the same protagonist, apparently, and the same girls. At the Christmas time, I'm not sure how they're gonna connect the story to the ending of our lasting summer. And yeah, I guess right now my job is just to hop to into the game and see how it goes. Funny voices. I wonder, what is the spirit of New Year? And what is New Year itself? Just another time cycle, one of the many red letters days. Or a much more alluring and mysterious event? My memory serves me right. The new year was celebrated even in ancient Rome. Who knows? Maybe even before that. Yeah, definitely before ancient Rome because there was fucking China. Who celebrated this like way ahead because China goes back. Ooh, and invented the firework and so let me just tell you. Ah, it was like two months before Christmas. I could be wrong. But yeah, it's been long. But why is it a holiday? And why are people so excited about it? Yeah, good question. Everyone decorates New Year trees. What are New Year trees? Dreams of very stories. Why is it fine? Ah, Christmas trees, okay. But yeah. Damian, has a lot of free space behind it. What's the matter? Are you cutting the toys? Ah, that, that. Dana's voice made me snap out of my thoughts and found myself standing still, clutching a small glass statue of a snow maiden in my fidgeting hand. Yeah, yeah I'm on it. Claudia, chop it smaller. You won't be able to eat it this way. Juliana Cucumber should be over there. Have a look, please. No, they just literally ignore the main story and they just deal with all of the girls. Oh, I. Oh, I. Yeah, I, I, I definitely gave her the girl was because she's the first character we met in the original game. I. Back in the day, I didn't even do much voice. Like, I didn't record this, but did I? So, yeah. She's, she's my main girl. Red hair, blue eyes, and she rocks. Like she's literally playing the guitar, like she's a rock star. Kind of. So she literally plays the guitar, she's a badass. The perfect. She's the sporty girl that is... Good, the good looking sporty girl that is very, very, very sporty. She would kill me in real life. Not because she's stronger than me or anything, but I'm cash stressed because I would do sports with her, I would die. I moment. I was in charge. But I have the English translation. 
Er det jo en F? Høj på dem af. Jeg tror, jeg synes, det er F, det ser. Du er rationen se. Hej, mor mand. Nej. Hvad er det? Jeg har samtidig med ham, at det er Trauman, på det her. Jeg har været specifikt for det, det er det. Even I, I driven by the ambience, volunteered to bring and decorate a new tree. No year tree, what the fuck? Today is the 31st of December. We reach an agreement to celebrate New Year at Lena's. Just happened that way anyway. Not like we had any other option. Lena's place was the obvious choice after all. Who would be pleased, who would be pleased to celebrate New Year in an untidy and dusty apartment like mine? When a dormitory in which Slavi and Alyssa lived? Several hours left until New Year and the preparations were going all out. I was finishing decorating a New Year tree. Flavia, Juliana and Lena casting the spells in the festive meal. <laughs> Meanwhile, Alyssa dashed to get the groceries as we were running out of ingredients in the last minute. So yeah, Alyssa is the girl we're going for and I did I say it like this. Our new year tweet. Flavia, Juliana and Lena. Like I'm not even saying it like German anymore, like Flavia, Juliana and Lena. I just say Flavia, Juliana and Lena. But I, I I'm turning Russian, I swear to God, I'm turning Russian. Obviously, we were hoping that Zendia and Marsha would drop in, but the evening was getting darker. The girls were nowhere to be seen. Had... Correct me if I'm wrong, but obviously the character's name, the character's name, have already been existing a very long as time. That's not what I'm getting at. Do you remember when we looked back, even years ago now? There was like this 10 most subscribed channels, and there's a children's channel, a Russian one. It has Masha in it, like Masha and somebody else, like a bear and a girl or something, and what? And I think one of them is called Masha. What? For coincidence? I think not. The front door slammed, allowing in the freezing fresh air that could even be felt, felt here and here. Like, I'll fear, I'll fear, I'll fear, I'll fear. Uh, yeah, that's, it's a... I think it is a free to, free to play game because it, there are some mistakes in there, but yeah, I can do that. Come, come get the supplies. Having finally hung the glass search in a branch, I came up to Alyssa, judging by her voice that supplies were pretty heavy. She stood with her back against the wall, trying to catch her breath. Anna. Couldn't you find an apartment even higher? Whoa! Sure, it doesn't matter whether it's the second or the fifth floor. Exhausting in any case. She shouted in the direction of the living room. Only my for luck, I acted from here. Huh. Ah, you climbed the stairs while carrying all that? Can't you see? I didn't use an elevator. Alyssa stood up to me and glanced angrily at me. Wait, was this me talking? Oops. Being as smart as? The elevator already went up. And I didn't wanna wait. What you are standing still for? Move this to the kitchen. Stop making eyes at me and move. I'm sorry, I'm still used to hating you. Alice has always been kind of a locomotive and at the same time an ignition spark in her company. This is Juliana. We get it up somewhere. It was definitely their scheme. The bags apparently to be Okay now I just cannot read. That's not even miss that's just my mistake. The bags appeared to be really heavy. When I tried to pick them up, I couldn't hold a cry of surprise. Oh how feeble the men are these days. Come on, let me help you. Gotta be managed to get a large stretch due to stretch due to the what? Gotta be managed to get the large stretch due to the load bags to the coach. The <laughs> that lamentably creak under their first of all, you wanna say couch? That coach? And stretch due to the load. I, I, I think I understand what they're trying to say here, but what the fuck? 
if I maybe we I'm probably deleted the video. If I have recorded this part. Gotta be managed to get the last threads due to the load back to the couch to examine the bitcoin rate. Okay, let's let's say it like it's making any English vocabulary sense. Together we managed to get the large threads due to the load back to the couch that lamentably cracked under the weight. See, it sounds very convincing. I understand, like, the large threads due to the load back. Why is there. What have you bought so much for? Probably wanted to say bought, but yeah. You'll thank me. You thank me in the morning. Wait, wait, what? what? Hey, that is a lizard, that is my girl, that's not my girl. I? That is a lizard, yeah, that's my girl. Who are you again then? I'm sorry. I, yeah, whatever. Wow, girls, there are some firecrackers over here. No, Juliana has already peered inside the bag for a hole in its side. Pull out the long black box, yelling cheerfully, turning the back even harder. I won't just allow it to fold around the floor. Butze? Who the fuck is Butze? Just that Russian name. Just without the Russian letters. Butze. Butze. Ulyana. Having noticed the disaster is done, Ulyana gathered the food quickly and pretended a nice girl. I might have gotten my English too good for this shit. And that was not even English. My English has gone too good for this shit, which is what I'm trying to say because I'm. The front door slammed again. Hi, everyone! I'm just gonna even ignore all the mistakes, okay? I just pretend like they're not there, right? And where are you? And where have you been loitering about? I entered the living room wearing a dark dress and drove an extra that suited her perfectly. I would dig the outfit without this weather, but that's just me. I cast it last. I was not loitering anywhere. We've got a song today in the Hellic Gold. It's beautiful. So what's up? Is it in the news? Are there more people to come? Because there's so few of us here. Oh, Samyon? Hey there too. Even though there were only six of us, it was getting pretty crowded in Lena's one room flat. I'm gonna stick with the name. What the beautiful Christmas tree you have? Is it real or fake? You know? We bought a fake one and it smells so awful, well, like plastic. You know? And here have a real one. It's so cute. It's the real Christmas tree. When I was little, we used to bring and decorate a real Christmas tree. At least it's in Christmas tree now. I'm so happy. Not New Year's tree. <laughs> New Year's tree. And I wouldn't even chew its needles. And also love Olivia sell it too. You had pickle sweet? Ah, oh, it always does, but one of my friends doesn't. Some be a little calm, much as endless chatter down, so I dare to jump in the conversation or say monologue. Be waiting for Senya. Help us sort out the stuff, will ya? Okay. Oh, by the way, this evening we suddenly she went silent, pausing in mid-sentence. This evening you what? It's nothing. And at one time we wanted to know. <laughs> With a great deal of commitment, Masha went about loading off the bag, sorting food on the table, and leaving the rest of the stuff on the sofa. It was a strange, nearly forgotten feeling that had been haunting me restlessly throughout the whole holidays. As far as was 12 again, firing up the bed so that I could wake up early in the morning, and open up gifts waiting for me the new year tree. Are we go with the new year tree again? Gifts for the new year? Are we... What? Did it just make... Do, okay, Rush, does Russia have a new year's day that we celebrate it like Christmas and new year's at once? Like, what the fuck is... What? The much is strange. Nothing. Only served to reinforce this feeling. I guess this is the first time in about five or seven years I find myself in high spirits on the... Eve of the new year. They enjoy myself rather than stay buried like a mole in four corners. 
closing my eyes not to miss the moment that clock in the corner of the screen. It marks the beginning of another cycle of the seasons. I couldn't tell the difference between. Today enjoy myself rather Today enjoy myself rather than stay buried like a mole within four walls, closing my eyes not to miss the moment the clock in the corner of the screen marks the beginning of another cycle of the seasons. I couldn't tell the difference between. I actually have to, if I want to really like present these sentences, I have to reread them, like, not reread, but like pre-read them and just wing it. Because goddamn that sentence was like, ooh. Now thanks to the girls. Been only a while since they we all met. For up to now, we've been hanging out together, visiting each other pretty often, as if we were old friends. Well, perhaps it was the truth after all. Huh. I can we call everything that happened to us real? Or is it just a pride and the dream of company shared? Oh, it mattered not now. The more important thing is the lesson we've learned from this dream. The head of the clock was approaching the 10 pm mark relentlessly. Lena and Slavia were having a chat and rattling dishes in the kitchen. Oil was sizzling in the pan, and some meat was baking in the oven, filling the kitchen with appetizing savor. Savor. Savior. 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 Savor. Serving of the festive tables, reaching his hand. Lots of trumpery was hanging from each and every corner of reach. Garlands were winking with bright colors and dolls' glassware was glistening from the branches of the new year tree. The scent of tangerine and pine needles served as the complement of the elevated atmosphere of holiday. Just like in the good old days of childhood. Julian and Elisa ran outside, having a strong intention to try out the explosive contents of the bag that filled it to the limit. Then I'm getting a call. What the fuck? No, oh, right, here we are again. Marshall was lying on the sofa and seemed to be falling asleep. I was sitting in an old and oh, soft armchair, staring aimlessly at the TV screen. A bunch of snow business stars in brightly colored dresses, Hollywood smiles shining on the and we're wishing the audience happy new year. All right, so. I was sitting in an old and soft armchair, staring aimlessly at the TV screen, a bunch of show business stars in brightly colored dresses. Hollywood smiles shining on their faces, they are wishing the audience Happy New Year. Though that very moment, I had not the slightest intention to notice any of their story.
Histrionic? Behavior. Is this like history and ironic? What? What game is that? No way. Histrionic personality is what is the first thing that comes up in a cook. People diagnosed with this order are said to be maybe dramatic Wait. symptoms persistent attention seeking dramatic behavior rapidly shifting and shallow emotion sexually provocative behavior undetailed style of speech and attention to consider relationships more intimate than they actually are yeah I might actually have histrionic personality disorder Duration lifelong. Yay. Treatment. Fuck you. People diagnosed with HPD may be dramatic. They often fail to see their own personal situation realistically. Nope, not me. That matters and exaggerating the difficulties. Patients with disorder can have rapidly shifting emotions. Yes. And it equals the ability to recognize the emotions of others. Nope. Maybe. The emotions may appear superficial or exaggerated to others. Fuck you. They just don't respect me. This thing. This disorder is associated with extroversion. A low tolerance for frustration or delayed gratification and openness to new experiences. People with HPD may have little self doubt and often appear egocentric. Research has also shown this with histronic. Personality of a greater desire for social approval and reassurance and will constantly seek it out, making those with HPD more vulnerable to social media addiction. People with this disorder often display excessive sensitivity, sensitivity to criticism or disapproval. They will work hard to get others to pay attention to them, possibly as a method of testing the stability of relationships. They may enjoy situations in which they can be the center of attention, may feel uncomfortable when people are not paying attention to them. This it is common for people with disorder to wear flamboyant clothing, high body modification, and fake medical conditions in an attempt to draw other attention. They may be inappropriately sexually proactive, flirtatious, or exploitative, sexually suggestive, and exhibitionist behavior. Also, behaviors people with these conditions sometimes exhibit. Some people with histonic traits or personality disorder change the dash technique and they're more. Parental style as they age. The desire for attention is that matter can heighten the severity of the symptoms. They tend to be impressionable and easily manipulated, especially by those they respect. Wow. Patients with HPD are usually high functioning, both socially and professionally. Okay, nope, 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 not me at all. They usually have good social skills, nope. Despite tending to use them to make themselves the center of tension, HPD may also affect a person's social and romantic relationships as well as their ability to cope with losses or failures. People with HPD tend to consider relationships closer than they usually are. Yep, probably. That's me. They may seek treatment for clinical They may seek treatment for clinical depression when romantic relationships end. No, I don't look for help. Substance disorders such as alcohol use disorder or Opioids are all common in patients with. <sighs> so you're saying I'm an alcoholic? Well, I was an alcoholic, but fuck you. They're also at higher risks of suicide. I've been there. Body dysmorphia. <sighs> and divorce. Make of frequent job changes to become easily bored and may prefer withdrawing from frustration instead of facing. Because they tend to crave novelty and excitement. They may place themselves in risky situations. All of these factors may lead to greater risks of developing clinical depression. People with these conditions can have an impress impressionistic and undetailed style of speech. Despite these traits, they can be prideful of their own personality and may be unwilling to change, bring any changes to the threat. They may even blame the personal failures or disappointments on others. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck you. Anyway, back to the game. 
decided we're gonna play. I still think there is a Google translation, but. All I wanted to see was a noisy celebration of holidays with cheerful people and their never failing smiles. And I wanted to believe in the countless wishes of happiness and health, and that every wish would undoubtedly come true, this time at least. My eyes accidentally caught a sight of some kind of little dark box lying on the floor. Uliana's firecrackers. At the same time a mobile phone rang somewhere in the kitchen. You want me to top them? Nah, climb up and take them by yourself. I won't talk to you, what? Oh, okay. Send me your horn. Go down and give those firecrackers to Oriana. She's left them somewhere in the room. Thoughts were moving slowly in my head as my mind was enfolded in some haze. And I didn't want to leave the stove before the armchair. So, I don't go out and breathe some fresh air. My stomach needs to take a break from those tempting smells anyway. Go down to Oriana. Oh, it was too stuffy in the apartment. I'll go for a walk. I said to the girls in the kitchen and left the apartment, shuffling on my coat. The street greeted me with noises from every corner. Someone was launching fireworks. Children were playing with pack tops. Little toys that were spinning and launching sheaves of multicolored sparks. Julian and Lisa were setting up a huge firework that was probably equipped with at least Probably shorts as the box was in the small one. I'm afraid to imagine what kind of our budget was spent on this insanity. Got it? Got it? Instead of answering, I showed her the small box. Give it here! Juliana snatched the box out of my hands. Now, now we're gonna walk this night! She had twinkling eyes, just like a small child. She was probably thinking of something to blow up the whole time. Why do you buy them? You could make it yourself. This isn't the first time for you, after all. Flux could kill her. That'd be just a small pile of ash left of me and the Lissa's incinerating player. You're such a jackass, Simeon! What's wrong? Victoria's capitalism prevailed over the young chemist? Old time it still turned up in the worst time possible. Now I realized unwillingly he's the lizard. Alright, alright, I'm sorry, don't blow top. Hands raised themselves in a reconciling gesture. Would you, for one, stop apologizing in the upcoming year? Maybe, just don't get mad at me. He just tightly waved me aside and chilly shrugged. <sighs> I'm gonna get a warm. Please yourself if you want to. My coat wasn't the most. Oh, frost. I wanted to say fireproof. Who's this frostproof? Frostproof one, which is why I started to freeze as soon as I left the porch and felt the first wind blast. Just as I wanted to get back to the apartment, I was acutely pulled by sleeve. Hey, who's gonna launch the fireworks? There's still some firecrackers left. I perhaps I should stay. Alyssa You can go back home while we prepare for the launch. Follow my finger at a bag with fireworks and the sticking out of it. Well so you are a numbskull after all. Just know how to turn the around this fast and watch back to the apartment. You got what you wanted. I'm an Amskull now. Juliana just giggled behind my back in response. And my neck was instantly... Violet. Bitted. By billions of icy needles. Huh? Ah. You wet little piece of... I'm not even turning around, I carefully drop, trying to cover myself with incoming snowballs with one hand, while scooping some snow and making a snowball with another. Hey, that's not fair. 
she didn't even let me turn around, aiming at my head and quite frequently hitting it. Can you stop already? Nope. She lost focus for just a moment after two life saving jumps. I utilized the nearby bushes as cover. Stern and battle reached on. The dungeon snowboards. I managed to warm myself up pretty nice. I no longer wished I'd come home with Melissa. I could have gone home with her. That was my. I wish I had. After another sharp hit, the bright down check, the snuffy voice could be heard from behind the tree. Hey, that's not fair. Ah, go on, tell me I should have taken a dive. Of course you should have. She went out from behind the tree, snuffily looking at me with her arms akimbo. Her upset appearance was so funny that a smile appeared on my face. Quit sulking with me. Got hit with a snowball. This isn't such a big deal. Alright, let's go launch some firecrackers. I easily appeased Tambo could knock my socks off sometimes. A moment ago she was burning me for placing a splash. Now she's already suggesting screwing around. Ah, let's go. Wee hee hee Oliana quickly ran away from another looming al aluminium tin which had a thin grey string of smoke coming out of its hole. In a second, an unlucky place of aluminium was torn aside with a sudden blast. Just like a kid. Even despite the fact that Uliana was in her first year of studies in the university, the ways of entertainment couldn't be called ordinary. Judging by the other girls' stories, she was always going around. Apparently, she even volunteered to be a camp leader. Uliana is a camp leader? That image appeared in my mind instantaneously. A pioneer uniform, a strict voice, lecturing ankle biters. I can't paint the laughter. What you laughing at? Ah, uh, nothing. Just thinking why some individuals still enjoy playing with firecrackers. Oriana gives me a surprise to her. What's wrong? That's funny. That's a funny dad. Just an explosion and the tin is torn apart. Possible to hurt an eye with a sprinkler. Let's not do this again. Hey, I'm worried. Juliana waved her hands in protest. About yourself? About you as well. Uh, you worried about me? We won't do this again. An explosion went off right behind her back. Alright. I found something to be done to bring the girl to her senses. Yeah, yeah. Alright. That was the last one. I swear. Boom. Fetch my hand out. Juliana sorrowfully unloaded the rest of the warheads in the palm of my hand. You're indeed boring. What are you gonna do then? I was about to suggest something, but immediately reconsidered because I had nothing to suggest. I couldn't even imagine one who flew outside in winter that's wandering around between the house, the nearest mini market, and optionally studies. Let's. Let's. Make a snowman? Very for condescending look. I'm still 10 years old for you. What's wrong with it? To me, it's fun. She silently sat on her hunkers. And started to fall the soft snow. I was standing near... Nearby. And amusedly watched her attempt to make something round of her slush ball. Don't just stand there, help me! Well, great, really mature. Okay, we'll make a few balls, put it on top of each other. So what? Oliana stood up and threw a serious look at me. Look, that's all, everything. It's a part of New Year. The presents, the snow, the bells shine, part of frost. All of this is New Year. I don't get Are you such a teacher creature? What happened in your life that you look like all the fun has been prompted ahead of you? The thing is, nothing. Nothing happened. That's why I'm like that. Not sure if it was the truth or not. Somehow I really wanted to trust myself. The reason for my passiveness, who was my style of life itself, not me. Always pleasing me to know that someone else is responsible for your failures. Juliana kicked the slush ball and fell apart. She turned around and headed to the porch, a frozen place. 
Just a second ago, I was ready to leave myself now. I, feel, I felt extremely offended. Only by myself, being such a miserable toad, and even pretend I'm cheerful and to not upset the girl. I felt some kind of unpleasant tight lump appear in my chest. When I managed to upset Juliana, I really did something wrong. This holiday to boot. I meant a lot for her. I could have not had these feelings, but for sure didn't have a desire to spoil it for someone. I sat down in front of a tumble down slush ball and tried to get it in one piece. How I managed to do it, when I started rolling it in the ground, carefully straightening the sides, the slush ball was slowly turning into a spear. So, where are you? She turned around and saw me making circles around the quad triangle. What are you standing for? Come on, make a second one. Juliana and Quite loosely came close and started to make the second ball, keeping an eye on me. She tried to roll it, but all of a sudden slipped and her face fell directly in the slush ball. When she got up, her appearance was so hilarious, I couldn't contain myself and burst into laughter. Honey, pass a crutch. But her face was a dead giveaway. The second she couldn't control herself and started laughing out loud. Then she made a snowball and threw it in my face. Now got precisely in my mouth, which made the situation even more hilarious. Having finally stopped laughing, we continued to make the snowman running from ear to ear. And here it is something made of three snow spheres. The fans that were supporting the fat pot belly. Talking about my belly here. And in before us. Instead of nose, the snowman had a branch and some random conolets ends up in his eyes. Only if he had a carrot. That would be real classic. Broom in the hand and a bucket on the head, to be precise. I was standing next to Liana and watching the snow miracle, and all of a sudden I felt so warm and cheerful, like going back to childhood, when we were walking and playing in the snow with my parents. Liana <sighs> looked at me and I grabbed her hand. I just had the sun decide to hold someone's hand. Actually, it was like childhood. Snow falling from the sky, the new year tree lighting up the outdoors. No man, no one's hand you can glass. Check the time, I knew you was at hand. Attract Oliana's attention to the fibers. It's launched them right at 12 o'clock. Alright. She said and gave me a warm smile. Bones clock was counting down the last second of the strange, full of mysteries, losses and discoveries. Happy and sad moments here. Happy and sad moments here. Juliana rose with a spring, pulling my sleeve. Is it time? It is. She took a match folded out of her pocket and ran up to the artillery, which was armed and ready by that time. Five. Four. Juliana was in place in wicks after wicks, constantly swearing and breaking the matches. Three. Two. The last wick ignited, string to crown with the spice. One. And precisely, in the first second of New Year, the night above us shined with bright lights that looked like marvelous flowers. Red, green, golden, you name it. Look, look! She ran up to me, grabbed my hand, and pointed to the sky. I thought it was actually unnecessary. I was fascinated by the sight as well. What's so special about these lights and snowmen after all? Why exactly this day? Why did it make you wake up from this dream, dust off the fluff, lighten up your soul? Watching Juliana, it became clear that I just forced myself too deeply. In the borders of dejection and loneliness I created for myself. So maybe it's time to break these borders and once again learn to enjoy the simplest things and being a child at least sometimes. A chime of bells echoed from someone's open window. Leanna shouted, Happy New Year! and suddenly kissed me right in my unshaven cheek. The same moment she became extremely shy, as if I had popped longing, popped her eyes and put hold of my hand. I'm sorry. What's wrong? N nothing. She went bad to eat. Nearly imagined the shade of her cheeks with the color of her hair. The embarrassed look gave me the warm feelings. I grabbed her hand and caught her surprised eye. Hey, no biggie. I went down, kissed her in her ear, and said, Happy New Year. The end. Yay. 
to the area with thanks for reading the short story at him wishes you happy new year. You believe the positive thinking kind of people you meet and the strong and successful in this belief you are by the future. The other dreams, even the most extraordinary ones, when but doubly come true. Lastly, we hope you'll find the one then I listen to Juliana's love, Julian, live a blue of the good luck. So I could finish recording, but I'm gonna finish recording here. And if you wanna know the other stories, just play the game for yourself, it goes really fast. The intro is always gonna be the same. There's probably not going too much on, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, have a great one. Bye bye.